Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Hope your week is going well. We are in Galatians 6 today as we wrap up this letter from Paul to the Galatian uh, Christians. And there is a ton in this final chapter to reflect on and meditate on today. I really want to direct us to verses 2 and 3 uh, for our devotion this morning. Paul says this, Share each other's burdens, and in this way obey the law of Christ. If you think you are too important to help someone, you are only fooling yourself. You are not that important. Now, a couple observations. Number one, Paul reminds us that we are not independent of one another. We are to share, or other versions say, carry each other's burdens. And those burdens can look differently for for other people. And Paul says, as we share, as we carry each other's burdens, we will fulfill the law of Christ. Remember, yesterday, chapter 5, Paul says that the the law is summed up in loving your neighbor as yourself. So caring or sharing someone's burden is a way to love your neighbor. And then Paul kind of addresses, like, if you think you're too good to do this, like, Paul kind of puts people in their place. Like, if you think you're too important to help someone who's in need, guess what? You're not that important, all right? And there were Galatian uh, people who were thinking, you know what? Yeah, I've been forgiven. I've been redeemed. I'm in this position. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm too important or I'm too good to help somebody else out who's, who's in need and who's struggling with their burdens. Paul's like, uh, you're not that important. Help people who are in need, okay? And Paul says, you're just fooling yourself if you think you're that important. Now, application for us today, there is a lot we can dive into, but I want to focus this in on a few things here this morning. Number one, all of us are dealing with some kind of burdens, all right? For some, and it's different for everybody. For some people, they are feeling the burden of just financial burdens. Maybe they're struggling with their job. Maybe they don't have a job right now. Um, Maybe they're in between jobs and it's just a a struggle financially for them right now. For some people, they are dealing with a ton of temptations right now, Uh, just temptations in all kinds of different areas of their life, and they are facing that burden. For some, it is health issues. For some, it is family struggles. For some, it is, I mean, there's a lot of people dealing with anxiety and depression and loneliness. That is a burden that many people are facing today. And Paul says that we are to carry or to share each other's burdens, all right? It is like people hiking, all right? And you take the weight off someone else's pack and put it on your own pack, all right? And it's not a it's not a burden for you. It is a joy to share, to take some of the load off of them and put it on yourself, all right? That you see someone who's in need, you see someone who's struggling, and you're there for them, and you're going to relieve that. And one of the best ways that we can do that is by praying for them and asking, how can I pray for you today? And I'm going to really encourage you, as you apply this in your life today, that you would reach out to someone, more than one people would be amazing, and just ask, like, how are you really doing? How can I pray for you today? And if someone reaches out to you, maybe everything is going great. For most of us, that's not the case. We've always got things in our life that people can be praying for us. But if the off chance, hey, everything's going great, then again, just say, hey, you know, things are going pretty well for me right now. Just thank God for me that that things are going great. But if someone does reach out to you, that you would just take the invitation that they want to reach out and take maybe some of the burden off of you and put it on their pack and go to the Lord in prayer for you and just share with them, hey, how life's not going too good right now. Um, Or that maybe you would just take time to say, hey, you know what, let's get together. Let's spend some time and just listen and let them vent and let them unload. Maybe they've got a burden and and just things are going on and, and they just need someone to talk to and a friend who will care about them. That you would take the time to do that and to be that person in their life. But Paul, so again in verse 3, really, really, I think, convicts us because it's easy for us at times to think, my time is more important. My money's too important. You know, my stuff, my that. And 
we're too important to, you know, have my time to reach out and ask someone how I can pray for them, to reach out and have a meal or invite someone over and just spend some time together or, you know, to to just be there and listen to someone. And Paul's like, you we're called to help people. And if you think you're too good and your time is way more valuable than being there for someone and unloading, you know, helping to take someone's weight off of their shoulders and putting it on yours, guess what? You're not, okay? I mean, again, not my words, Paul's words, led by the Holy Spirit right here for you and for me today. And so God is inviting us to have some humility. It's easy for us to look down on someone and say, you know what, I don't have time for you. But that is not showing a servant's heart. That is not fulfilling the law of Christ of loving our neighbor as ourself. Jesus is inviting us today to say, you know what, I'm going to take that time to reach out and say, how can I pray for you today? I'm going to send a text, I'm going to email or, or call or shoot someone a message and say, how can I pray for you today? But also that we would go through our day looking at how can I be a blessing to someone else? How can I help someone who's in need? How can I encourage someone today? And that we would have some true humility and not think, oh, we're so important, so good, so better that this person is undeserving of my time. This person is undeserving of my help. This person is so undeserving of me providing something for them. May God give us humility and a willingness to carry and share each other's burdens today, loving our neighbor as ourself. Let's pray. Father God, I, I pray today that each of us would see that we all have burdens, Lord, and they're different for everybody else. For some of us, we've got burdens of family, of kids, of that, that are going through things, maybe a marriage that is struggling. Maybe for some of us today, we're caught in some kind of a, an addiction. Uh, maybe for some of us, we're going through some health challenges or financial struggles, or we're just in some difficult relationships right now. And, and we just need a lot of prayer. For some of us, Lord, we're maybe dealing with some anxiety and, and struggle and loneliness. Lord, I pray that we would be willing to admit that to somebody as they reach out to us today. Maybe we need to take the courageous step as well of just saying, reaching out and, and saying, well, how, I need you to pray for me today. But Lord, I pray all of us would just take the moment today to reach out to someone and ask how we can pray for them, and ask how they're truly, how they're really doing, to shoulder some of their burden, to love them, our neighbor as ourselves. Give us humility. Give us grace for one another, remembering, Jesus, that you have carried all of our burdens on your shoulders on the cross by dying and then rising again. Lord, bless our day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, have a great day. And again, truly, if I can be praying for you, please reach out to me. I love praying for people. I continue to hear from people. Pastor, would you pray for me about this? I just love praying for people. Please, if I can be praying for you, shoot me a text, send me an email, or just call or stop by and say, Pastor, could you pray for me about this? And I would love to do that for you. All right. Pray that you have a wonderful day and continue to just encourage and support one another and reach out to others today as you love them, as you do good to them, as you carry their burdens. God's blessings on your day.